Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to talk about Gatsby Source WordPress Experimental. So this plugin is basically a pre-release experimental version of the upcoming Gatsby Source version 4. So now let's start. So where does it start from? So how it works is basically if you go to Gatsby node.js this is the place where it create pages so first of all it's grabbing hold of all of the templates so all of the templates are defined inside of the template directory right here so you have page post and index so it's getting hold of all of the templates and then Gatsby has a function called create pages the job of this is to create pages uh, by running different queries that we have so as you can see that uh, you know create pages it takes the list of these templates and then it runs a query which is all content node over here and then finally it creates pages I'm just giving you a basic over I'm not going deep uh, I will be taking a separate entire series on this uh, which will explain to you step by step but this is just no overview of the uh, experimental plugin okay right then you have uh, all of the Okay, and then you are creating pages right here. And you've got some of the queries that you're running over here. Okay, uh, at this point, uh, this is going to be using the template index.js to create, uh, to show all of the posts on slash blog. So if you go to slash blog, you can see that all of the posts are being listed and this is the one responsible for creating that particular page okay and then it's also going to do the next and before uh, using this context that we can pass over here okay awesome so let's continue so since it's creating all of those pages that I just shown it to you uh, it's using this template to create page okay and then it's using this template to create post as I've just shown you inside of the Gatsby node.js okay and uh, then uh, if you go with this is your 404 page okay so this is your 404 component and now I'm gonna go to so basically how's your home page coming in so your home page is coming from the page because it's a page right so let me give you a walkthrough from here, right? If you're wondering how I'm getting this uh, query written in in a Beautify format, well, I have a plugin that's installed. So this is a JS GraphQL plugin that I've installed in my PHP Storm, and that's really really useful. You can try it out. It basically formats your query and everything, and um, you also have this the GraphQL option over here. Anyways. So, so it's going to query the page with all of these uh, things like ID, next page, all of that stuff. Okay, and it's going to use the blog post component and it's going to pass that data there. So, you go to blog post component, we have the layout over here. Okay, so let's go to layout. So, inside of layout, I have grid. Grid is again a UI component from Chakra UI. So, if you check on top okay so this is a UI components using some grid you have some box again from the chakra UI okay and then you have the header so if you check on the header what do we have we have the heading we have the link tag so Gatsby already has the link component which you know which you use basically your um, to redirect the user to some other page and then you have all of the Gatsby logo again if you go deep into it you can see just an SVG that we are using over here okay now let's talk about the menu this is what we are interested in because remember we need a menu on top to be able to navigate we can't tell the user to go on slash and then navigate he wouldn't know what it is right so this is where you need to look at uh, so WP menu is the one which is fetching the data so the best part is that in Gatsby you have this uh, graphical playground available uh, so you can hit it like this and you can do all of your queries so there are two pl places you can do these queries at one is over here and then second one is in the WordPress so remember that in our WordPress we had installed this graphical right 
so this graphical uh, plugin basically gives us the playground in WordPress that we can use to run our queries uh, it's always a best practice to try your query out in the playground first before you write it I think it makes a lot of difference because you don't really run into errors because if you write query and then you fall into errors it's better to test it out okay great so what is the query that we have? So this is the query. I'm just going to use that and paste it here. Oops, didn't get pasted. So I'm going to grab this and paste it. Okay, just run it. Of course, we won't. We will get null. It's because we haven't put what the menu name will be, right? So how do we get that? We come over here. This is the menu name that we set, which is primary menu, right? So this is what we need to use. So if this is primary menu, then we need to put that in small letters. So we'll put primary dash menu, okay? And hit it. There you go. You can see I've got all of the menu over here, which I've set about inquiry, contact, this is how cool graphical is you know you can run your queries you can get whatever you want if I want URL I can get URL and you no know, depending on whichever field you want you can get it from here okay so all I have to do is just change this primary menu change this main menu to primary menu and I should be able to see the menu in the front end okay so let's refresh Awesome! Congratulations! So you can see that you can you've got your menu over here. So you've got about, inquiry, contact, inspiration, stories, and we also have a blog page as well. Awesome! And if you make any changes in your WordPress menu, let's say I move the contact on top of inquiry, and I save it. Okay, and I come over here, and I refresh the page notice what happens you can see now contact is moved here inquiries here so you've got the changes live right now if you are going to serve your site of course you need to build it once it's built uh, then every time you make some changes in your WordPress you will need to rebuild it okay because Gatsby is a static site generator alright awesome so you've got all of the pages uh, you've got the menu and you can see that it's basically looping through the menus uh, so when we read, run the query we get the data in in the uh, WP menu variable and we're just looping through each item and we are just uh, you know showing these menus over here awesome so that's the menu for you and then again uh, this blog page that you see so if you want to check just go to gatsbynode.js and this blog page is actually using the template which is index.js which is this right here okay so all of the data that you see over here is coming from the templates index.js because that's the template that's being used especially for the blog page okay <clears throat> so all of these posts are here as so you can see that all of the data for the post is here and then how are you actually doing going to the next page so let's say you are here then if you want to go to the next page how is that coming in so what this is using is basically it's using the react paginate library from react so if you search react paginate so okay so it's using this react paginate and it asks for some basic information when you are actually using it okay all of these information so if you go down here this is where the query is happening so this is the home page query and uh, it basically is passing all of the information like offset per page yeah all of that stuff so if you want to run it I can actually go ahead and run it over here in the graphical I can paste it uh, let's not worry about featured image for now I haven't set any anyways and then this is where you can pass the offset down at the bottom you can see right here so you've got offset 1 which means start at the page 1 and per page which means send, uh, display 20 posts per page okay so it's if you run it you can see that I don't have that many uh, posts anyways so let's just limit it to 
so now you can see you have two and if I change the offset which means change the page number starting from two now you can see that it's serving from page two let's change to three again you can see that it's serving from three I can increase the post count to four you can see that it's increased now okay so that's a query being run and uh, what happens is that when the user there's a function over here uh, which is on change so it basically goes ahead and changes the updates the value of the page okay and that data is being passed to the query because these are variables and that's how you're able to navigate to the next page okay so all of this data is being passed over here and react page in it so this is the component that we get from react page in it itself okay so you can see this is the component from react page in it so that's what we're using over here okay awesome great so I, this is a pretty uh, you know basic overview of the experimental plugin okay a lot of work is already going on on this and soon uh, this is going to be really really good uh, now now if you're wondering which one to use which options to go for now in Gatsby you have different options available so you have if you want to use rest api you have gatsby source wordpress so if you want to serve the data from the rest api you have the gatsby source wordpress that you can use currently it's running on the version 3 which uses rest api so you can see that it's pulling data into gatsby from wordpress using the wordpress rest api so this is the version number 3 the version 4 which is currently an experimental that we talked about which will come soon uh, basically is going to use GraphQL in the backend which is this you can see it's written from the ground up using WP GraphQL for the data sourcing as well as custom WP Gatsby plugin uh, to transform the WP GraphQL schema uh, in Gatsby specific phase so it brings the best of both worlds basically now what will be the advantage I mean a lot of people will be comfortable using Gatsby source WordPress uh, which is great the only thing is that uh, I have experienced when I use the WordPress REST API with this Gatsby source WordPress plugin version uh, version 3 uh, I run into problems when there is no data which means if your REST API response returns some fields with empty data you start getting errors there are fixes available like send dummy data or use create types uh, you know action in Gatsby However, still I don't really enjoy it. Okay, so I wouldn't really recommend to use Gatsby Source WordPress for your production for version three. Okay, because using WordPress REST, REST API is, is not really enjoyable. I, I run into a lot of trouble. Okay, so um, if you really want want to use it, like if you want to use it for production right now, uh, you know I would say that you have something else available called Gatsby source GraphQL plugin so so that's the best part you know in Gatsby you've got so many plugins available you can use them that's best suits your need so this plugin basically uses GraphQL in, in the backend okay so it's connecting the arbitrary GraphQL APIs to uh, Gatsby GraphQL the one you saw before which was Gatsby source WordPress that was actually fetching data from the rest API and stitching them together to give you the GraphQL and the data in form of GraphQL but here it actually connects your WP GraphQL plugin so if you want to use this you need to have the WP GraphQL plugin installed in the WordPress backend which is uh, the plugin that I just showed you and then we just installed together which is uh, this one right here WP GraphQL okay awesome plugin by the way right so uh, you can use this if you want for now if you really want it for production however uh, you know if you're going to be building Gatsby site later on I'm sure in a short span of time this sh we should have this experimental plugin also available very soon uh, you know uh, with the version 4 so at that time you can use th that as well but if you want to try it out go ahead and try it out it's, it's, it's awesome Great, so in the next tutorial, uh, you're going to start learning from scratch how to build site with Gatsby and use WordPress in the backend. You're going to learn about how to build custom schema as well uh, using GraphQL from WordPress 
and uh, you're going to learn everything in detail this was just a basic overview okay awesome so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I will see you in the next video thank you very much Bye bye